Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how halogens can act as oxidising agents. You should then be able to describe and explain the trend in reactivity of the halogens down group 7. In the last video we started looking at the elements in group 7, which are also called the halogens. All of the elements in group 7 have 7 electrons in their outer shell, and we can see that here. As we saw in the last video, as elements, the halogens exist as diatomic molecules, for example Cl2. Now a key idea you need to remember is that when halogens react, they can remove an electron from another species. In this case, I'm showing the other species as a negative ion X-. The chlorine atom is removing an electron from X, which means that X is being oxidised, and the chlorine atom is acting as an oxidising agent. Because the chlorine atom has gained an electron, it is being reduced to form the chloride ion, and the chloride ion now has the electron configuration of the noble gas argon. Now, there's a very important idea that you need to understand, and some students find this tricky. You need to remember that as elements, the halogens are diatomic molecules. So when we write a redox reaction for a halogen, we need to show the halogen as a diatomic molecule like this. So as we've seen, the halogens can act as oxidising agents. More reactive halogens are stronger oxidising agents than less reactive halogens. Of all the halogens, fluorine is the most reactive and the most powerful oxidising agent. The reactivity of the halogens decreases down group 7, as they become less powerful oxidising agents. Now we can explain this by looking at the electronic structure of the halogens. I'm showing you here the electronic structure of fluorine. Remember that when it acts as an oxidising agent, the fluorine atom removes an electron from another species. This electron adds into the outer shell of the fluorine atom to form the fluoride ion. Here's bromine gaining one electron to form the bromide ion. Compared to fluorine, bromine is less reactive and a less powerful oxidising agent. There are two reasons for this. Firstly, bromine has a greater atomic radius than fluorine. This means that the outer electrons in bromine are further from the nucleus. Secondly, bromine has more inner electron shells, so there's greater shielding between the nucleus and the outer electrons. So for these reasons, there's less attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons, and this makes it harder for a bromine atom to gain an electron from another species compared to fluorine. Because of this, bromine is less reactive than fluorine and a less powerful oxidising agent. In the next video, we look at the displacement reactions of group 7.